Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be making a cara. Yay! <laughs> so my friend is visiting us. Remember her? Yeah. Our MC and she wants a cara. <laughs> yes, so I'll be making a cara today for her. And um this is the beans I washed the other day with my blender. You guys remember I'm going to add the link to this uh, video so you guys can go and watch how i wash my beans with blender now it's been in the freezer for more than a week now i just brought it out this morning and you guys will see how i'm going to rinse it and we'll make our car all right now the, i've added the beans into the bowl now i'm going to use water to wash it off and the eyes will come off easily all right guys let's wash the beans You guys can see how easy it, it was to melt the ice. Just wash your beans, store them in the freezer, bring it out whenever you're ready to use, and add them in a bowl and pour water and your beans will just melt. Now I'm just going to rinse it properly because that day I was too tired to do everything. But the beans is almost ready, you guys, as you guys can see. all right time to blend the beans just add some water not too much because you don't want your beans uh akara to be just add a little water the water i added is here and as i'm blending if it gets if it needs a little more water i'll top it i'll just keep adding a little water so that my my my, my butter i think won't be watery And you're supposed to just blend the beans you're not supposed to add anything to it because adding those your ingredients into the beans while blending will make the beans or will make the beans paste <laughs> i'll call it taste not butter to make it watery so let's blend you're supposed to blend it until smooth now i'm starting Now we're done blending. Look how smooth it is. Now transfer everything into your mortar. If you don't have mortar, not to worry, just use a big bowl. Transfer everything into your big bowl. Then use your tongari <laughs> or gary to turn it to stir it until smooth. I'm going to rinse a bit. Now, begin to stir it, just one to one side, you know, mix it this way. I don't need to mix it much because I really took my time to blend it in the blender until it's smooth, so I don't need to mix it more. And when you fry a car, you don't use maggi, some people use maggi, but you can use salt. So I'm going to use salt, I'm going to use habanero pepper my onions i'm going to use half and shrimp i know some of you are surprised that i'm going to add shrimp to mine i love the taste it gives my akara who says you shouldn't try a new experiment on your akara so you can try that if you want to i love it as i i add that to my akara now set this aside and prepare your i've already washed them just take off the head and i think i might be using half because the uh, one is big and it's spicy so let's just then slice your onion 
on my shrimp. This is how I slice my shrimp. Just so adding shrimp to your akara will make you love akara the more. Let's start. I already added oil into my pan. This should be enough oil for my akara. So when the um, oil is a bit hot, that's when you should start adding your pepper and your onions into the akara. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this. I add small basil leaf to my akara. I know this is not the original akara. This is Mama Nina's akara. This is from my own kitchen. So I try to make my own recipe. You know, you guys can you guys are welcome to try this recipe and let me know what you think. <laughs> the original akara, you don't need to add um, shrimp or basil. Oh, mine, I'm just, I'm just, you know, creating the recipe by myself so that I'll have a recipe to my name. <laughs> <laughs> to check if the oil is hot or hot enough, to fry the akara just take a just a little piece of uh, onion and drop it inside yeah it's not you can see it's not uh, frying so it's not hot so you have to wait a bit so now the oil is beginning to do some magic <laughs> um, now add your add your onions into the thing then mix it Yeah, you can see what I'm doing now, right? I didn't know you guys couldn't see what I was doing before. So just mix it, then add your shrimp. Then mix that as well. Your leaves. This is Mama Nina's recipe. So don't be, please don't judge. Don't say, I don't know what. Now the oil is almost is warm. So don't say I don't know what I'm doing. I trust me, this is nice recipe. I will, you're welcome to try my recipe, okay? <laughs> now, lastly, because the oil is hot, add your salt. Some people add on um, what's that? Maggi to their akara, but akara doesn't need maggi, just salt and your other ingredients. Test for salt. So time to fry. add into your curry, into your oil. So don't allow your oil to be too warm because it will make your akara cook fast, but the inside won't cook properly. If you notice the akara is turning brown and turn it side by side so it won't get gone so, so it will cook properly make sure you try this recipe and let me know what you think the basil i added it gives it a nice aroma which i love i love using basil to make my rice and stuff so i, I decided to add it to my this is not my first time using it into my akara i added it before and it was so nice The camera is ready. Scoop out and add it. You see? So this is how you fry your akara. Hey guys. It's nice. And this is the shrimp. Alright, look at my food, my oatmeal, my akara with pepper on top, mm, yum, yum. and my, I just fried the <laughs> shrimp and added on the side. Doesn't this look yummy? Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
drop your comments for me like my videos and share with your friends and tell me what you think about this my method of making a kara all right guys see you soon bye